Hi, I'm Jim from Rising Sun Imports in Indiana, USA. I was considering titling this video, How to Destroy Your Engine 101, but lately and in the past, I've been working on engines that are sent here and motorcycles that are brought in here that have ingested dirt or mud into the engine and done serious engine damage. I want to point out here today that on the gas gas bikes, the older ones 20 years ago, and I've also been told on some of the other brands, I think someone told me the Shirkos can do this as well, older ones, but there is a mud flap on the back of the air box, and I'm going to point it out here, this is this mud flap, okay? And when you put the rear fender, the mud guard, on there, on the bike, there's a, on this one with a subframe, this flap sits here and there's this, this lip in the fender. And when you put this on, all this tucks together really well, actually. And then the fender goes on there and bolts down. And this is all like that. And this mud flap, what that does is when your rear wheel is spinning, you're in a muddy creek bed or in the mud, or sand, wet sand, the debris is coming off of this wheel, which is rotating this direction and flying up under the fender. Under the mud guard, that's why they call it a mud guard. And this flap is preventing it from getting up near the air box. And on this design is 96 and 97. This filter goes in the side here on this box. Taking this off again, this box breathes in the top right here. And I have some photos I include in this video. So if this piece is not in place, say your mud guard is on there and this piece is not in place, then debris from the wheel goes up and gets in there and goes right in the air box. It goes right in there. Now I've seen some unbelievable things and I've seen air boxes just almost entirely packed full of mud. The problem is, is that that mud will get past the filter. Why? Because an oil foam filter does two things when sandy water gets on it. One is it expands like a sponge so the porous foam, the pores open and the oil that's designed to trap the particulates like little pieces of sand and dirt doesn't do it because it is wet so the stickiness is ruined by the water and keep in mind that when an engine is running, it's pulling a suction on that foam filter as it's drawing the air in for the engine, for the combustion. So it's very easy to draw that sand water mixture through that foam filter. It's just a reality of what happens when you saturate a foam filter. It gets in the engine, it can ruin the crank bottom end bearings, the connecting rod bearings. It can rub up and down inside the cylinder and, and ruin your piston and cylinder. Now this is the 99 chassis of the bike that I bought last September of 2018 and that I parted down. And this is the mud guard. And this lip that's, that's broken off here would have tucked into this part of the chassis. And this is still the mud that was on the bike when I bought it. So you can see that this area was, in, was getting a lot of mud that wouldn't be there if the fender were in its proper place. So this air box, which I show a picture of the filter here in a moment, a still shot, was just 
maybe one third full of mud standing and the engine was junk that had sucked the engine full of mud. So 96 and 97 and 98 and 99 are basically like this. If you want to, you can maybe drill a hole through here and the subframe and actually put some kind of a zip tie or something there to be sure that this stays in place. What happens is people loop the bike over backwards. And when they do that, often the fender comes loose and goes like that. And then they just put the fender back down and it's flopping around and then this collecting mud and drooping and drooping and drooping. And then you are sucking mud into your engine right through your air box. So every time you loop your bike out and you're putting this back together, you have to be certain that you get this tucked in there in that. And of course you can see that that was broken away on this fender so it wouldn't have held this flap anyway. The year 2000, it's a different design but exactly the same problem. The notch in the rear mudguard holds the flap and people flip over backwards and the fender flips up and the flap comes loose. And I'm going to show you some photos and some video of damaged engines related to this exact thing I'm talking about. So this is 96 through 2002 edition 02. This is not applicable to the Pro. They have a completely separate air box that bolts to the chassis and, and it breathes from the front and mud can't get in the back because it's all sealed. So this is the late 90s gas gases, mid to late 90s, that this can happen. And I've been seeing people lately more and more, they're buying used bikes, older ones, and not realizing the problem with this and I never made a video so I thought it was about time because the bikes are going to their third and fourth owners people that are new to trials and they just don't understand how critical it is that you don't draw mud and water into the air intake opening of the box There's a lot of dirt ingestion visible in the intake track. Mm. In the reed cage. So, mud, not a good sign to find mud in there. Looking in there, not very pretty. Well, this engine sadly has been sucking dirt for quite some time. Pretty good evidence here of that. A few additional pictures here of what appears to be mud. Ah. Ooh, she's locked up tight. I was able to finally turn the engine over using a half inch breaker bar and it brought this mud up from the bottom end. It's been standing full of mud. I was able to get it to turn over. As you can see here. Thank you for watching my video.